How's it going everyone and welcome to another video today we're going to be talking about the team of the week This is going to be a basic video It's going to be most likely a video that speaks to the people who haven't invested and traded with team of the weeks yet Up until this point I'm just going to be explaining what we have been doing So if you're new to trading and investing in FIFA this video is right on point for you We have been doing the team of the week trading and investing because it was so easy It was so not time consuming like it's really so easy and not time consuming that it's it's one of my favorite methods that i'm gonna explain today basically what we're doing is buy these team of the week players on low points we need to calculate cautiously when these low points are i'm gonna explain it furthermore in the video but for those who just tune in and are new to fifa are new to trading and investing team of the week basically in fifa ultimate team is a set of players 23 players that come out every week and are in packs for one week basically it gives out 23 players that played really good for that week in real life so let's say an example that cristiano ronaldo has a good game in juventus and he scores i don't know maybe a hat trick and he gets a team of the week so his team of the week card will be one rating higher and basically his stats on that card will be better so basically if you get that single team of the week card that single inform you will basically have a better card in your club that you can play with that you you can use that you can maybe even have more chances of scoring with so basically that's the whole point of these cards now going furthermore guys uh the, the situation is a bit more complex because these cards are only in packs for one week well their gold version is throughout the whole week when they don't get a special card so since they're in packs for only one week that specific inform card becomes rarer when it goes out of packs now a low point usually is while these cards are in packs that's a low point but that's not the lowest point that the card will ever be because the market trends can push these cards lower in value furthermore as we progress into the game the more the better players come out the more the better players in the informs affect the previous informs who were out in the game and basically push them lower in price but basically at the very beginning when we're looking at the team of the week one that's when that's that's basically the time when not so many packs will be opened and basically those cards will be really rare so since those cards are really rare as we've seen last year for example with valencia the right back who was mad in demand as piliqueta as well went really nicely up in price those cards keep going up in value towards i think even march was like the highest points this these these cards were actually so basically they can go really high continuously if they are really in demand now you guys need to understand that the market is a fragile thing so when there are new promos for example black friday when a lot of people open packs when there are promo uh, packs on the store people even open those packs with coins and when they open those packs with coins they get rid of a lot of coins from the market and when a lot of coins get rid from the market the whole buying power of the market is not that strong anymore and it's basically it, with every economy if you look at any simple country the if, if there's not enough money in circulations the prices in the stores are lower the prices in uh the pharmacies wherever you go they are basically lower because people don't have that much money to spend on so basically that is basic economy one-on-one -on -one. so if there are not enough coins on the market the prices are lower and that what happens during events big events like black friday lunar new year when a lot of coins get drained out of the market basically the trends push every car down in value but these informs let's say one inform gets out at the very beginning maybe in team of the week two or team of the week three when more of these cards get packed basically they get affected more and more by these market drops and when they get affected they get low in value and that's what i'm gonna be doing on this channel so if you're not if you're new here on this channel if you're not subscribed yet make sure to hit that subscribe button i will be following every single market pattern with you guys throughout the year to help you keep your coins safe if you hold any specific players sell them at right times before those market drops rebuy them when the market drops because they will basically go back up and you will be able to make that profit now uh going into the team of the week there's another thing that i didn't mention yet is that they could get a second in from let's say our example ronaldo gets another good game he scores four goals in the next four games he might get another inform 
So when he gets another inform, that second inform is better than the first inform. And what happens is usually the first inform drops in value a lot. And why he drops in value, in value a lot? Because a lot of people who hold that card want the new card now. They want to buy the new card, and when they want to buy the new card, they start selling the first card, and when the first card gets down in value, people start panic selling. Now, this is your opportunity to go in and invest in the first inform card. Why? Because a lot of people are pushing the prices really low. They want to get rid of it really soon in the quickest amount of time, and when that happens, if you buy at the right time that evening in the next day, I guarantee you there it's 95% of chance that that card will go back, at, back up in value and you will be able to make good profit. So this is one example for when the second inform comes out, what happens to the first inform. But what usually happens is that the second inform will be higher in price than the first inform. Now, uh, I'm sorry, I just clicked on my microphone with continuing on if you go and invest at the right time which this year it was usually on sundays when the weekend league ended that's when the team of the weeks were really low in value that's when you needed to invest in specific informs when they were in packs and you waited for a week or two they gradually went up if there was not any market drop that came on the market in that span of time so basically in two weeks you could have made quite a lot of uh, coins with it with this method keep in mind there's a really profitable method called flipping that you can do with mforms i'll leave the link in the description to describe it further more if you will follow me throughout the year if you subscribe to this channel you'll know what i'm talking about but basically there's so much you can do with it but just observe the market trends maybe this year it will be completely different maybe this year sunday won't be the buy day for the m form so we will need to just monitor the market i will be providing a lot of these videos i will be providing my uh, view on the market so if you will follow me we will definitely get it right uh remember the first month will be just observing the patterns how the market will move there's going to be new modes there's going to be everything new that affects on the market so basically what we're going to be just doing is just focusing our uh time on that first month to see where the patterns lay and then from that moment on in the end from investing we can make a lot a lot a lot of coins so uh thank you guys for watching this video if you have any further questions about the m forms or the team of the weeks if something wasn't clear there are no stupid questions here at the obala channel make sure to drop those in the comments below thank you so much for stopping by and i'll see you next time cheers